if you're interested in SharePoint but you don't know from where to start and how to test it, here is a quick tip how you can get started with it. So I'll go to Google and I'll type Office 365 Try E3. So the first thing will be that side on top and I'll just click it and I'll land on that page here. And there is a free trial button at the bottom. So that will give us 30 days of Office 365 E3 and with that we'll get all the products here including SharePoint. So let's register. So I've entered my personal email address. Now it will ask me to fill in some additional details as a first, second name, a country and phone. Now on the next screen it will require to enter a phone number so um, Office 365 will try to send you an SMS code so it can verify that the phone is actually your phone and let's do that and the next step is put to specify your company name in my case I'll just type power user tips and hopefully that is available yes Now I have to create the first account and after uh, I'll have to specify name and this will assign uh, an email to that and then a password. With that we are ready and again this is a 30-day trial for 25 licenses and these are all the products that we can use within that tenant again here is the user ID so I'll have to save that along with the password that I've entered and we can access the portal from the URL let's go there Okay, some nice tips for administrators. Okay, I got it. So uh, now let's have a look at those. It is still saying setting up. So it will require some time to set up OneDrive and SharePoint, but after this is done, we can go to the SharePoint, uh, we can click the SharePoint icon and go there and create our very first site. The SharePoint and OneDrive is now ready for use and I've got some nice tips here for forms and how I can pin documents, something new even for myself. But let's go to SharePoint and create a new site. So we redirect it to So we redirect it to our SharePoint site and that's at poweruser.tips.sharepoint.com. That's the very first site we will see. In the next video we'll cover different type of sites and how we can create even more sites so this is the quickest way to get a SharePoint site of course there are other options that are free but they might include entering a credit card in our scenario we just in, in, in five minutes we just created our first SharePoint site without the need of credit cards I might cover other options like creating a developer site which can be used for an year for testing and development for free in another video.